Across Europe last year, citizens expressed anger about government cutbacks, one way to stabilize the euro. In Greece, there were running street battles with police as Athens launched an austerity program after a $145 billion bailout from the European Union and International Monetary Fund. Demonstrations in Paris and Brussels mark the start of a winter of discontent. Despite the unrest, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, in her New Year's message, threw her weight behind the euro. Das vereinte Europa ist der Garant. The United Europe is the guarantor for our peace and freedom. The euro is the basis of our prosperity. Germany needs Europe and our common currency. At the beginning of 2011, Estonia became the 17th country and the first former Soviet Republic to join the euro. Its relatively tiny $19 billion economy is not expected to make much of a difference. Weak European economies were the focus of an EU summit in December. Leaders did agree to change the treaty that governs the EU to set up a permanent mechanism for addressing sovereign debt problems, but that won't take effect for three years. Market analyst Michael Houston of CMC Markets says it was not a solution. Nothing really in the short term has been resolved, so the debt problems are going to continue to weigh going forward into 2011. Britain is not part of the Eurozone, but it does contribute to the bailout. British students have made their voices clear in opposition to the austerity measures. They and citizens across Europe are promising more demonstrations in 2011. Economic commentator Hamish McRae says governments will have to tread carefully. To what extent do you use political power to help economic unity? And to what extent do you use economic unity to reinforce political unity? And the two have to go in some kind of lockstep. Investors are watching to see what economic moves European leaders make this year. One option is issuing euro bonds to spread risk, but stronger economies like France and Germany are opposed. Germany's citizens continue to pay for an expensive reunification and are wary of the cost of more bailouts of the EU's weaker economies. Germany is home to the European Central Bank, and as the strongest economy in Europe, the country will likely have a major voice on the future of the euro. Jennifer Glass for VOA News, Frankfurt.